Western New Guinea, also known as Papua, formerly Irian Jaya, and West Papua, is the part of the island of New Guinea, also known as Papua, incorporated into Indonesia in 1962. Lying to the west of the independent state of Papua New Guinea, it is the only Indonesian territory to be situated in Oceania. The territory also includes nearby islands, including the Shautan and Raja Ampat archipelagos. Most of the territory is in the southern hemisphere, with a few small northwestern islands such as Sajang Island in the northern hemisphere. The region is predominantly covered with ancient rainforest where numerous traditional tribes live such as the Dani of the Baliam Valley, although a large proportion of the population live in or near coastal areas, now a majority of which consists of recent transmigrants from Java and other provinces of Indonesia. The largest city in the region is Jayapura. The official and most commonly spoken language is Indonesian. Estimates of the number of tribal languages in the region range from 200 to over 700, with the most widely spoken including Dani, Yali, Ikari and Biak. The predominant religion is Christianity, often combined with traditional beliefs, followed by Islam. The main industries include agriculture, fishing, oil production, and mining. The territory has been administered by Indonesia since May 1963 and officially included into its territory after a vote dubbed the Act of Free Choice, supervised by the Indonesian military junta in 1969, marred by political threats against native Papuans. The indigenous Melanesian population at the end of 1961 estimated at 718,055 has been estimated to have grown by year 2005 to 1,559,000 representing a growth rate of 1.6% per year The Asiatic population at the end of 1961 estimated at 16,581 has been estimated to have grown by year 2005 to 1,088,000 representing a growth rate of 10% per year. Transmigration from the Indonesian islands of Sumatera, Java, Bali and Sulawesi is the main cause of the inflation of the Asiatic population. Meanwhile, the population growth of the Melanesian population has been slowed by over half a century of what has been described as genocidal policies from the Indonesian state apparatus. Human habitation is estimated to have begun between 42,000 and 48,000 years ago. The Netherlands claimed the region and commenced missionary work in the 19th century. The region was annexed by Indonesia in the 1960s, and has faced a separatist movement since then, resulting in continued repression and in the deaths of 100,000 up to 500,000 indigenous West Papuans. Following the 1998 commencement of reforms across Indonesia, Papua and other Indonesian provinces received greater regional autonomy. In 2001, special autonomy Status was granted to Papua Province, although to date, implementation has been partial and often criticized. The region was administered as a single province until 2003, when it was split into the provinces of Papua and West Papua. Access to Western New Guinea by foreign journalists, non-governmental organizations, and academic researchers is under close control by the Indonesian administration, which often rejects visa applications. As formerly in East Timor, Indonesia's former colonial territory, the Indonesian administration takes great effort at filtering the information that gets out of Western New Guinea. Name Speakers align themselves with a political orientation when choosing a name for the western half of the island of New Guinea. West Papua which is not the official Indonesian name for the western half of the island, is the name preferred by ethnic Papuans. The region has had the official names of Netherlands New Guinea 1895-1962, West New Guinea 1962-63, West Irian or Irian Barat 1963-73, Irian Jaya 1973-2001, and Papua 2002-2003. When the region was administratively won in Indonesia, Indonesian officials criticized activists' use of the term West Papua because they thought that the term implied that the province was not a part of Indonesia. Indonesian President Abdurrahman Wahid considered his short-lived use of the name Papua in 2002 as a concession to the West Papuans. Since 2003, Western New Guinea has had two provinces, the province of Irian Jaya Barat on the west, renamed West Papua in 2007, and the province of Papua on the east. 
Since 2014, the official name of the political group that represents the Melanesian population of Western New Guinea in the Melanesian Spearhead Group is the United Liberation Movement for West Papua ULMWP. In brief, Indonesian officials and administrators refer to the newly created province when they say, West Papua. While most of the Melanesian population, independence activists, and non-governmental organizations mean the whole of Western New Guinea. Geography The region is 1,200 kilometers 750 miles from east to west and 736 kilometers 457 miles from north to south. It has an area of 420,540 square kilometers, 162,371 square miles, which equates to approximately 22% of Indonesia's land area. The border with Papua New Guinea mostly follows the 141st meridian east, with one section defined by the Fly River. The island of New Guinea was once part of the Australian landmass and lie on the Sahul. The collision between the Indo-Australian Plate and Pacific Plate resulting in the Mauke Mountains run through the center of the region and are 600 kilometers 373 miles long and 100 kilometers 62 miles across. The range includes about 10 peaks over 4,000 meters 13,000 feet, including Punchak Jaya 4,884 meters or 16,024 feet, Punchak Mandala 4,760 meters or 15,620 feet, and Punchak Trikora 4,750 meters or 15,580 feet. The range ensures a steady supply of rain from the tropical atmosphere. The tree line is around 4,000 meters 13,100 feet, and the tallest peaks feature small glaciers and are snowbound year-round. Both north and west of the central ranges the land remains mountainous, mostly 1,000 to 2,000 meters 3,300 to 6,600 feet, high with a warm humid climate year-round. The highland areas feature alpine grasslands, jagged bare peaks, montane forests, rainforests, fast-flowing rivers, and gorges. Swamps and low-lying alluvial plains of fertile soil dominate the southeastern section around the town of Marauke. Swamps also extend 300 kilometers 190 miles around the Asmat region. The province has 40 major rivers, 12 lakes, and 40 islands. The Mambaramo River is the province's largest and runs through the north of the province. The result is a large area of lakes and rivers known as the Lakes Plains region. The southern lowlands, habitats of which included mangrove, tidal and freshwater swamp forest and lowland rainforest, are home to populations of fishermen and gatherers such as the Asmat people. The Baliam Valley, home of the Dani people, is a tableland 1,600 meters 5,250 feet above sea level in the midst of the central mountain range. The dry season across the region is generally between May and October, although drier in these months, rain persists throughout the year. Strong winds and rain are experienced along the north coast in November through to March. However, the south coast experiences an increase in wind and rain between April and October, which is the dry season in the Marauke area, the only part of western New Guinea to experience distinct seasons. Coastal areas are generally hot and humid, whereas the highland areas tend to be cooler. Ecology Lying in the Asia-Australian transition zone near Wallacea, the region's flora and fauna include Asiatic, Australian, and endemic species. The region is 75% forest and it has a high degree of biodiversity. The island has an estimated 16,000 species of plant, 124 genera of which are endemic. The mountainous areas in the north are covered with dense rainforest. Highland vegetation also includes alpine grasslands, heath, pine forests, bush and scrub. The vegetation of the south coast includes mangroves and sago palms, and in the drier southeastern section, eucalypts, paperbarks, and acacias. Marsupial species dominate the region. There are an estimated 70 marsupial species, including possums, wallabies, tree kangaroos, couscous, and 180 other mammal species, including the endangered long-beaked echidna. The region is the only part of Indonesia to have kangaroos, marsupial mice, bandicoots, and ring-tailed possums. 
The approximately 700 bird species include cassowaries along the southern coastal areas, bowerbirds, kingfishers, crowned pigeons, parrots, and cockatoos. Approximately 450 of these species are endemic. Birds of paradise can be found in Kapala Burring and Yapan. The region is also home to around 800 species of spiders, 200 frogs, 30,000 beetles, 70 bat species, one of the world's longest lizards, Papuan monitor, and some of the world. S. Largest butterflies. The waterways and wetlands of Papua are habitat for salt and freshwater crocodiles, tree monitors, flying foxes, ospreys, and other animals, while the equatorial glacier fields remain largely unexplored. In February 2005, a team of scientists exploring the Foja Mountains discovered numerous new species of birds, butterflies, amphibians, and plants, including a species of rhododendron which may have the largest bloom of the genus. Environmental issues include deforestation, the spread of the introduced crab-eating macaque which now threatens the existence of native species, and discarded copper and gold tailings from the Grassberg mine. Flora and fauna on the Bird's Head Peninsula The Bird's Head Peninsula, also known as the Dovarai Peninsula, is covered by the Vogelkop Montane Rain Forests ecoregion. It includes more than 22,000 square kilometers of montane forests at elevations of 1,000 meters feet and higher. Over 50% of these forests are located within protected areas. There are over 300 bird species on the peninsula, of which at least 20 are unique to the ecoregion, and some live only in very restricted areas. These include the gray banded munia, Vogelkop bowerbird, and the king bird of paradise. Road construction, illegal logging, commercial agricultural expansion, and ranching potentially threaten the integrity of the ecoregion. The southeastern coast of the bird's head peninsula forms part of the Telic Sandarawasa National Park. Demographics the population of the region was estimated to be 3,593,803 in 2010. The interior is predominantly populated by ethnic Papuans and coastal towns are inhabited by descendants of intermarriages between Papuans, Melanesians and Austronesians, including the Indonesian ethnic groups. Migrants from the rest of Indonesia also tend to inhabit the coastal regions. The two largest cities in the territory are Manakwari in the northeast of the Bird's Head Peninsula and Jayapura in the northeast. Both cities have a population of approximately 200,000. The region is home to around 312 different tribes, including some uncontacted peoples. The Dani, from the Baliam Valley, are one of the most populous tribes of the region. The Manakam and Hadam inhabit the Angji Lakes area, and the Kanum and Marand are from near Marauke. The semi-nomadic Asmat inhabit the mangrove and tidal river areas near Agats and are renowned for their woodcarving. Other tribes include the Amunjma, Bauzi, Biak, Bayak, Korowai, Lani, Mi, Mek, Sawi, and Yali. Estimates of the number of distinct languages spoken in the region range from 200 to 700. A number of these languages are permanently disappearing, as in Papua New Guinea and some surrounding East Indonesian provinces, a large majority of the population is Christian. In the 2000 census 54% identified themselves as Protestant, 24% as Catholic, 21% as Muslim, and less than 1% as either Hindu or Buddhist. There is also substantial practice of animism among the major religions, but this is not recorded by the census. Haplogroups there are six main Y-chromosome haplogroups in western New Guinea. Y-chromosome haplogroup M is the most common, with Y-chromosome haplogroup O2A as a small minority in second place and Y-chromosome haplogroup S back in third position across the mountain highlands, while D, C2 and C4 are of negligible numbers. Haplogroup M is the most frequently occurring Y-chromosome haplogroup in western New Guinea. In a 2005 study of Papua New Guinea's ASPM gene variants, Mekel Babrov et al. found that the Papuan people have among the highest rate of the newly evolved ASPM haplogroup D, at 59.4% occurrence of the approximately 6,000-year-old allele. 
Haplogroup O2A M95 is typical of Austroasiatic peoples, Thai Kadai peoples, Malays, Indonesians, and Malagasy, with a moderate distribution throughout South, Southeast, East, and Central Asia. Haplogroup S occurs in eastern Indonesia 10 to 20% and island Melanesia approximately 10%, but reaches greatest frequency in the highlands of Papua New Guinea 52%. Extinction in 2012, the Tampoto tribe in Skau Mabo village, Jayapura, was on the brink of extinction, with only a single person, a man in his 20s, still living. The Daesam tribe in Wena area, Jayapura, also is near extinction, with only one family consisting of several people still alive. A decade ago, the Sebo tribe in the Kayu Pulau region, Jayapura Bay, died out. Hundreds of Papuan tribes have their own individual languages, they are unable to compete in the acculturation process with other groups, and some tribes have resisted acculturation. Culture Western New Guineans have significant cultural affinities with the inhabitants of Papua New Guinea. As in Papua New Guinea the peoples of the highlands have traditions and languages distinct from the peoples of the coast, though Papuan scholars and activists have recently detailed cultural links between coast and highlands as evidenced by close similarity of family names. In some parts of the highlands, the koteka penis gourd is worn by males in ceremonies. The use of the koteka as everyday dress by Dani males in western New Guinea is still common. History Papuan habitation of the region is estimated to have begun between 42,000 and 48,000 years ago. Research indicates that the highlands were an early and independent center of agriculture, and show that agriculture developed gradually over several thousands of years and that banana has been cultivated in this region since at least 7,000 years ago. Austronesian peoples migrating through maritime Southeast Asia settled in the area at least 3,000 years ago, and populated especially in Sundarawasa Bay. Diverse cultures and languages have developed in SITU. There are over 300 languages and 200 additional dialects in the region. See Papuan languages, Austronesian languages, Central Eastern Malayo Polynesian languages. The 14th century Majapahit poem Nagara Kretagama mentioned Wuwanan or Onan as a recognized territory in the east, today identified as Onan Peninsula in Fakefak Regency, western part of larger Bombarai Peninsula, south of Bird's Head region of western New Guinea. Wanan or Onan was probably the oldest name in recorded history to refer to the western part of the New Guinea island. European conquest in 1526-27, the Portuguese explorer Jorge de Menezes accidentally came upon the principal island in the Biak archipelago and is credited with naming it Papua, from a Malay word Pepua, for the frizzled quality of Melanesian hair. Heading east, he eventually reported the northern coast of the Bird's Head Peninsula and the Waigio Island, and named the region Ilas dos Papuas Islands of Papuans. In 1545 the Spaniard Inigo Ortiz de Rites sailed along the north coast as far as the Mambaramo River near which he landed, naming the island Nueva Guinea. In 1606 Spanish navigator Luis Vaz de Torres sailed along the southwestern part of the island in present-day Papua, and also claimed the territory for the King of Spain. Near the end of the 16th century, Sultanate of Ternate under Sultan Babala (1570–1583) had influence over parts of Papua. Netherlands, New Guinea. In 1660, the Dutch recognized the Sultan of Tidore's sovereignty over New Guinea. New Guinea thus became notionally Dutch as the Dutch held power over Tidore. In 1793, Britain established a settlement near Manakwari. However, it failed. By 1824 Britain and the Netherlands agreed that the western half of the island would become part of the Dutch East Indies. In 1828 the Dutch established a settlement in Lobo, near Kaimana, which also failed. Great Britain and Germany had recognized the Dutch claims on western New Guinea in treaties of 1885 and 1895. Dutch activity in the region remained minimal in the first half of the 20th century. Dutch, U.S., and Japanese mining companies explored the area's rich oil reserves in the 1930s. 
In 1942, the northern coast of West New Guinea and the nearby islands were occupied by Japan. In 1944, Allied forces gained control of the region through four-phase campaign from neighboring Papua New Guinea. The United States constructed a headquarters for MacArthur at Hollandia, Jayapura, intended as a staging point for operations taking of the Philippines. Papuan men and resources were used to support the Allied war effort in the Pacific. After the war's end the Dutch regained possession of the region. Since the early 20th century, Indonesian nationalists had sought an independent Indonesia based on all Dutch colonial possessions in the Indies, including Western New Guinea. In December 1949, the Netherlands recognized Indonesian sovereignty over the Dutch East Indies with the exception of Dutch New Guinea, the issue of which was to be discussed within a year. The Dutch successfully argued that Western New Guinea is geographically very different to Indonesia and the people also very ethnically different. In an attempt to prevent Indonesia taking control of the region and to prepare the region for independence, the Dutch significantly raised development spending off its low base, began investing in Papuan education, and encouraged Papuan nationalism. A small Western elite developed with a growing political awareness attuned to the idea of independence, with close links to neighboring eastern New Guinea which was administered by Australia. A national parliament was elected in 1961 and the Morning Star flag raised on 1 December, with independence planned in exactly nine years' time. Incorporation into Indonesia Sukarno made the takeover of Western New Guinea a focus of his continuing struggle against Dutch imperialism and part of a broader Third World conflict with the West. Although Indonesian seaborne and paratroop incursions into the territory met with little success, the Dutch knew that a military campaign to retain the region would require protracted jungle warfare, and, unwilling to see a repeat of their futile efforts in the armed struggle for Indonesian independence in the 1940s, agreed to American mediation. U.S. President Kennedy wrote to the then Dutch Prime Minister Jan de Key, encouraging the Netherlands to relinquish control of Western New Guinea to Indonesia and warning of Indonesia's potential alliance with communist powers if Sukarno was not appeased. The negotiations resulted in the UN ratified New York Agreement of September 1962, which transferred administration to a United Nations Temporary Executive Authority UNTEA, and proposed that the administration could be assumed by Indonesia until such time as a plebiscite could be organized to allow Papuans to determine whether they wanted independence or union with Indonesia. Under the terms of the New York Agreement, all Western New Guinean men and women were to be given an independence referendum, one person one vote, this was to be called the Act of Free Choice. However, when the act was due to take place under the new dictator Suharto, the Indonesian government claimed that Western New Guineans were too primitive to cope with democracy and instead used a musiawara, a traditional Indonesian consensus of elders, to decide the region. S status. The 1,026 elders were handpicked by the Indonesian government and many were coerced into voting for union with Indonesia. Soon after, the region became the 26th province of Indonesia. The 1969 Act of Free Choice is considered contentious, with even United Nations observers recognizing the elders were placed under duress and forced to vote yes. The Act of Free Choice has often been criticized as the Act of No Choice, and many independence activists continuously protest for a fresh referendum for every single Western New Guinean. After the fall of Suharto in 1998, celebrity Archbishop Desmond Tutu and some American and European parliamentarians requested United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan to review the United Nations' role in the vote and the validity of the act of free choice. There have been calls for the United Nations to conduct its own referendum, with as broad an electorate as critics say the New York Agreement obliged but the act of free choice did not fulfill. Those calling for a vote also point to the 30-year license which Indonesia sold to the Freeport McMoran Company for Papuan mining rights in 1967, and to the Indonesian military's response to the East Timor referendum as support to discredit the 1969 Act of Free Choice. The Indonesian government position is that the United Nations noting of the results validates the conduct and results.
A new referendum is supported by many international organizations including the Free West Papua Campaign, which works with Western New Guineans to provide all West Papuans with self-determination and full independence from Indonesian rule. The Federal Republic of West Papua, formed on 19 October 2011 at the Third West Papuan People's Congress, has declared the New York Agreement and the Act of Free Choice null and invalid, and seeks recognition by the United Nations as an independent nation according to international and customary law. The Free Papua Movement OPM, has engaged in a pro-independence conflict with the Indonesian military since the 1960s. This has been in response to the initial takeover of the region and multiple killings and other human rights violations by Indonesian troops, causing many West Papuans and international organizations to describe the situation in West Papua as genocide. Rebellions occurred in remote mountainous areas in 1969, 1977, and the mid-1980s, occasionally spilling over into Papua New Guinea. In the post-Suharto era, the national government began a process of decentralization of the provinces, including, in December 2001, special autonomy status for Papua province and a reinvestment into the region of 80% of the taxation receipts generated by the region. In 2003, the province of West Papua was created in the Bird's Head Peninsula and surrounding islands to its west. In 2011, Indonesia submitted an application for membership to the Melanesian Spearhead Group MSG, for the two Papua provinces and was granted observer status. The West Papua National Council for Liberation Independence Movement made an unsuccessful application for membership to the MSG in 2013 after which the United Liberation Movement for West Papua ULMWP, was established in December 2014 to unite the three main political independence movements under a single umbrella organization. In June 2015, the ULMWP was granted MSG observer status as representative of West Papuans outside the country while Indonesia was upgraded to associate member. In 2016, at the 71st session of the UN General Assembly, leaders of several Pacific Islands countries called for UN action on alleged human rights abuses committed on Papua's indigenous Melanesians with some leaders calling for self-determination. Indonesia accused the countries of interfering with Indonesia's national sovereignty. In 2017, at the 72nd session, the leaders called for an investigation into killings and various alleged human rights abuses by Indonesian security forces and appealed to world leaders to support a referendum on independence from Indonesia. Administration the Western New Guinea region is currently administered as two Indonesian provinces. The province of Papua contains 28 regencies Kabupaten, and one city Kota, at the 2010 census, which were subdivided into 385 districts Kekamitan, and thence into villages. Kelyorahan and Desa. The 28 existing regencies are Asmat, Biak Numfor, Bhuvan Dagol, Central Mambaramo, Diyoi, Dojiyoi, Intan Jaya, Jayapura, Jayawajaya, Kiram, Lani Jaya, Mambaramo Raya, Mapi, Marauke, Mimika, Navir, Nduga, Paniai, Peguningan Bintang, Punchak, Punchak Jaya, Sarmi, Supiori, Tolakara, Waropan, Yahukimo, Yalimo, and Yapan Islands. The city of Jayapura, which also has the status equivalent to a regency, is the largest city in the western New Guinea region. The province of West Papua contains 12 regencies Kabupaten, and one city Kota, at the 2010 census, which were subdivided into 154 districts Kekamitan. The existing regencies in West Papua are, Arfak Mountains, Fakefak, Kaimana, Manakwari, Maybrat, Raja Ampat, Sarong, South Manakwari, South Sarong, Tambrau, Telik Bintuni, and Telik Wundama. The city of Sarong, which also has the status equivalent to a regency, is the largest city in the West Papua province, but the current capital city is Manakwari. Reports suggest that the formation of three new provinces has recently been approved by Indonesia's House of Representatives, South Papua, Central Papua and Southwest Papua. Twenty-five new regencies and three new municipalities are also to be created. 
From Papua Province, the 17 new regencies to be created are those of Gili Manawa, Moyo, Balan Center, Bagaa, Punchak Trikora, Muara de Gol, Itmi Corbe, Katengban, Akika, Northwest Yapan, East Yapan, Numfor Island, Ulimic, Mombera Hulu, Southwest Yahukimo, East Yahukimo, and Gondumasisare, while the two new municipalities are Marauke City and Baliam Valley. In West Papua, the eight new regencies to be created are those of Malamoy, Maybratsau, North Raja Ampat, South Raja Ampat, Raja Mascona, Okas, West Manakwari and Imeo, while the new municipality is Manakwari City. See also list of rivers of Western Papua Mansaran Mangoendi references specific bibliography Mondiat, George, 1989, 2003. Poisoned Arrows, an investigative journey through the forbidden lands of West Papua. London, Michael Joseph, Green Books. ISBN 1903998271 Leet, Denise 2002. The Politics of Power, Freeport in Suhartos, Indonesia. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press. ISBN 0-8248-2566-7 Convoy, Ken. 2003. Copasis. Equinox Publishing, Jakarta, Indonesia. ISBN 979-95898-8-6 Penders, CLM, The West New Guinea Debacle. Dutch Decolonization and Indonesia 1945-1962 Leiden 2002, KITLV, Arrow Against the Wind, Narrative of Documentary on People of Asmat and Dani, Their Culture, and Their Relationship with the Nature http colon slash slash www.dgmon.net slash video underscore trans slash 004.html throw em way leg by Tim Flannery Nailis Tibay, West Papua. The Struggle for Peace with Justice. Catholic Institute for International Relations, London 2005, ISBN 1-85287-316-7. Marshall, A. J. and B. Beeler, eds. The Ecology of Papua, 2007. Parts 1 and 2 is Volume 6 in, The Ecology of Indonesia, Series. Singapore, Perry Plus Press. External links Free West Papua Campaign